From trailers to podcasts with Robert Downey Jr. If I picked the jersey back up and put it on, wouldn't you feel a little bit like, oh, no. crap? No. Oh. To even star stepping up to the plate for the role, don't swap or click away because here is Iron Man 4 First Look. About six years ago, Ellen talked to RDJ about a possible fourth Iron Man movie. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Yes. We'll get to that. And he confirmed it. He didn't even flinch when saying that the fourth one is coming. But this was way before Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame made it to the big screen. This makes us think that RDJ was probably thinking about these movies, but when Joe Rogan asked him about the possibility of making a fourth Iron Man movie, Robert just said that he feels like his fans would hate seeing him back after he had an epic exit from one of the biggest movie franchises in the entire world. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy. From Getting him back again would just erase everything that happened so far and make the actor look needy for attention. This is why Robert doesn't want that, so he's going to be sitting on the bench for a while watching the other actors getting their own movies. But Rogan's point about the time machine and the MCU's possibility to travel through time could mean that in the future, we could see Robert taking on the role of Tony Stark one last time. Of course, this gives Robert Downey Jr. the freedom to explore new genres, and then, about 10 years later, follow the epic exit with an even more epic comeback. We'll discuss this at length in just a little while, but first, we have to mention all of the fans that want Tony Stark to be replaced by his daughter, Morgan Stark. Before we talk about Marvel's blind spot, don't forget to smash that like button, it keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy, and you keep getting these videos for free. Just by typing Iron Man 4 and clicking enter on YouTube, you'll see a plethora of trailers, most of which have 14 million, 7 million, and even over 3 million views. Now why oh why would Marvel disregard 14 million people who clearly want Catherine Langford to take on the mantle from RDJ and play Tony's daughter, Morgan Stark? The clip that started this whole discussion is probably one of the most heartwarming scenes in the entire movie, and they cut it out from the movie. When fans finally dug it up, the video became an online sensation, and now if you go to Disney+, Plus, you can watch the entire movie, then during the blooper reel, you'll see this short clip of Tony talking to Morgan after using the Infinity Gauntlet, kind of like when Thanos talked to Gamora after wiping half of all life in the universe. Regardless of how amazing we think this scene was, Catherine Langford was forbidden from speaking about it in public before the movie aired. Judging off of her reaction, we'd say that she had a blast on the set filming this scene with Robert. She found him very pleasant, enjoyable, and kind, even though he's one of the biggest stars on the entire show. It, I don't know. I don't know if I can say that, but I mean, it definitely like. I heard that's why it's out, though. It was literally like that's what I was told. It was out because people wanted to see it, which is also really cool because it's like. She even added that she's a big Marvel fan, which is code for, you guys better include me in any upcoming movies. Now, out of the two scenarios Iron Man 4 could play out in include, number one, Catherine Langford takes on the role of Morgan Stark, and we have a time jump of about 15 years, so we can see her all grown up to become a great superhero, she'll train with her mom, who in turn was trained by Tony to use the suit. So in a way, Tony Stark will be teaching his daughter to fight, in the end, we'll have a mother-daughter combo that's going to be lethal to anyone threatening humanity. Number 2. The second scenario is going to be a little different. Just as CBR mentioned, we might get an Iron Man 4 movie, but as a part of another superhero's movie, kind of like they did with RDJ and Spider-Man. But the cooler option would be the one we talked about earlier. This other option is pretty simple. We think that they'll use the time machine to travel to one of the infinite alternate universes where Tony killed Thanos and is still alive. Since the world is in grave danger, he'll agree to come back, but he won't fight. Instead, he'll be playing the genius who has just become wiser, and he'll discuss strategies with the superheroes about how they can defeat some other intergalactic monster. And we have to say, seeing Tony start rocking a white head of hair takes his swag to a whole new level. On a related note, do you want RDJ or Catherine Langford to take on the leading role in Iron Man 4? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.